Aloha, Jetboy311 here with another Kona International Airport update. This is a 1400 scale model airport of Kona International Airport, which is uh, located on the big island of Hawaii, um, Hawaii Island. So, uh, this is the pretty much the major airport of uh, the big island, so they got a lot of traffic coming in here. Um, definitely not as much as uh, Honolulu, um, but they've got quite a bit coming in, so. Uh, that's why I chose to do it, and I love visiting there every year, going back in a couple weeks. So, uh, also I just want to make it clear that this is not an exact replica, it's just a model airport encapsulating Kona. So, sorry about that confusion in the past, um, but now that's all cleared up, so we're good to go. Uh, let's get started with some of the routes. I've got some new models to show you uh, from Gemini Jets, and um, I'm really pleased with the way they came out. Looks good in the airport, so I hope you think so as well. We're going to start with our uh, with our Ohana ATR42-500. This guy is a brand new release from Gemini. This was a December or November, I believe it's I believe it's a November release, um, but I recently just got it, so I thought I'd uh, get an airport update going before the new year comes. Um, so right here, again, Ohana ATR42, operated by Empire Airways. Um, they fly to most of the islands, I think maybe all of them, um, and they started with service to uh, Molokai and Lanai um, from Honolulu, and now they're flying um, all over. So recently they just got service uh, here in Kona to uh, to go from Kahului to Kona on this, er uh, on this beautiful aircraft. So uh, if you're looking for this model, I highly recommend it. From Gemini Jets 1400 or 1200, both are fantastic. So, uh, anyways, this is going to be operating Empire Airlines Flight uh, 642. Sorry, Empire Airways Flight 645. Um, uh, this guy's going to be heading out to Kahului. So, 645 out to Kahului, Ohana ATR 42500. Going to move over to our Hawaiian Inter Island Service. This is a Hawaiian 717-200 uh, going out to Honolulu. Uh, these guys operate frequently, I think almost 40 flights a day with these, uh, with these Hawaiian 717s. So this guy's going to be operating Hawaiian Airlines Flight 257 out to Honolulu. And then we're going to move over to our other Hawaiian 717 you can see peeking out. That guy's going to be heading out to Kahului. Uh, the flight number for, is, for this one is going to be uh, Hawaiian Airlines Flight 269 out to Kahului. Loading up, going to head out in a second. And that other Hawaiian right here, they're pushing back right now, going to head out in just a second. Uh, we're going to move over to our Aloha Air Cargo at the Cargo Center. They're running a little bit behind schedule today, loading up for Honolulu. This is going to be operating uh, Sorry, Aloha Air Cargo Flight uh, 41 out to Honolulu. Um, this guy operates once in the daytime uh, at noon, and then they operate a lot of flights uh, around the 3 o'clock, uh, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. hour. Um, so those are, those are hard to see if you're ever going to go plane spotting out there. Uh, I also uh, uh, have a plane spotting account, I forgot to mention. That's on uh, Instagram, jetboy311. Uh, I'd highly appreciate it if you'd uh, give me a follow. I'll try to follow back. Um, the again, it's Jetboy three eleven. I'll put that in the description as well. So uh, if you if you would do that, that'd be great. Um, take a look at some of my photos. Um, next, we're going to move on to. I'm going to talk about this terminal for a second. Uh, this terminal is not uh, in the actual airport. The whole airport is actually outside, and there's no jet bridges. Um, but again, this is not an exact replica. Uh, here is uh, this the terminal. I use this in the summer for the Hawaiian seven six sevens that operate out to Los Angeles and Oakland. So we'll get that back in uh, September, I believe. No, I'm sorry, June, and I think it ends in September. So we've got that for the summertime, those 767s um, operating out here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next, we're going to move on to our Alaska Airlines, uh, our Alaska Airlines area. We've got two, three gates, I believe, they own uh, over here. And uh, I'll show you some of those. Give me a second. Here we go. Let's get set up. There's our Salmon 3 Salmon. Very nice airplane. Uh, I'd recommend it if you can still get it. Uh, a lot of them are probably sold out. Um, yeah, so sorry that's zoomed a little weird or focused a little weird. Um, 
anyways, that's Alaska Airlines. Uh, they're gonna be heading out to uh, uh, they're gonna be heading out to Seattle a little later as Alaska Alaska 864. And then we have another Alaska to show you uh, right over here. Here we go. We can get focused in. Okay, uh, that's our Alaska Airlines 737-800 uh, as well. Um, you can see the tug is uh, pulling back. They just got pushed back, and they're going to be heading out to um, they're going to be heading out to Portland as Alaska Airlines uh, Alaska Airlines Flight 802. So let's get moving on. Again, Alaska Airlines is a pretty pretty major airline in Kona. They now have um, the seasonal service going for them, which is Anchorage and Portland. So that's uh, very beneficial to the airport. And um, that also goes along with um, their regular service, supplements their regular service to San Jose, Oakland, and Seattle. And uh, soon they're going to be getting a flight out to San Diego uh, that starts in March 2015. So looking forward to that. Next we have our U.S. Airways 757. You can see it coming over the numbers and uh, about to touch down. Uh, anyways, that guy is going to be, uh, that guy's coming from Phoenix. He's gonna be landing as uh, he's gonna be landing as U.S. Airways or uh, their call sign is actually Cactus, Cactus uh, 683 or sorry 663. Um, they're gonna be heading out uh, to Phoenix right after that after they're loaded up. Um, so let's move on to our United area. I'll give you a better look at this U.S. Airways. There we go, cool model. They just released another one of these. This is the older one, but. Uh, still fantastic. So uh, let's get moving on. Here is our United Airlines Center. Um, not really center, but uh, they have recently upgraded their um, their aircraft to the winter schedule. So as you can see, they've got 757s right now. During the summer and the fall, they usually operate a 737. Right now, this is a 757-200 pulling into the gate. He just landed from Los Angeles. And uh, they'll be that guy will be heading him back out to Los Angeles after uh, done unloading and then load back up. Next we have another United 757-200. They also operate the 300 frequ frequently, and uh, again the 737-800 and 900ER. So uh, those are always uh, possibilities at the airport. You never know what's going to be uh, happening for United. Sometimes they're just random upgrades. So this guy just came in uh, a little while ago from San Francisco, and then he's going to be heading back out to San Francisco in just a little bit. Um, that's all the aircraft in the airport um, today, but there's a couple other flights that come in, and uh, there's a, a lot of other traffic. So uh, just waiting on some Gemini releases. They're probably not going to happen. The other airlines that fly here that we don't have, um, we've got... Um, let me see, uh, Makulele, but uh, they fly Cessna 208, so probably not going to happen along the lines with Gemini, but they, uh, there's a possibility that uh, could happen, but not expecting it. Uh, other than that, there's not much else uh, to get. Um, oh yeah, also UPS just started uh, 7, not 7, um, MD-11 service to Kona. Um, that flight operates usually to Phoenix, and um, just all around, I guess. So I saw one go to Detroit the other day, so uh, pretty cool service coming here, and uh, I'd expect it to get better. So uh, stay tuned, I'll be coming out with more updates in the coming months. Uh, we're hoping for some new change, because um, uh, the change is usually pretty good here. So uh, thanks for that. Again, give me a follow on Instagram. Um, and that would be fantastic. Um, again, the uh, name is in the uh, description below. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, mahalo uh, and Mele Kaliki Maka or Merry Christmas. Um, hope you have a good one uh, wherever you're going or just staying home. Uh, thanks again for watching and uh, stay tuned. Keep in touch uh, with the channel. I'll try to get another airport update out in the coming months in the new year. So thank you. See you later.